cool that we are all the same in a, in a sense. Like we're connected and I always find food to be something that connects us. Like, oh, this is how we do it too. And like, oh, we use the same spices. And I think that's what Philly has a lot to offer. My name is Sunny Panthavong and I'm the owner of Vientian Bistro. My mom opened uh, the first Lao restaurant here in Philly back in 2002. It's called Vientian Cafe over in West Philly. And I decided to do my own restaurant and open up Vientian Bistro in Kensington. It's a roller coaster for sure. Uh, we have some good days and bad days, um, but just knowing that I'm preserving the family's recipe and sharing our culture um, gives me like, you know, happiness and keeping the family recipe alive. So being, I'm carrying on my mom's uh, legacy. Talking about like um, childhood and like being an immigrant child. It, it was really tough. Yeah. How can you do better when you're always fighting for defending yourself, when you're always being pushed down? Um, it wasn't definitely easy, um, but we made the best out of it. I guess we never really owned a home. They were always just renting. So it was like I was always just moving around and didn't have like a place like how everyone else would. So housing for immigrants will probably be something really can help better with. Most of the time I got bullied at school, you know, and I think that's the number one thing too is language barriers. So a lot of people can't express how they feel or having someone to talk to because there's no one that speaks that language. I know that I get people calling my restaurant and be like, hey, can I, do you have any Laos speaking person that has accessibility? There's just things like show face, right? Like we have a saying where like, oh, you, you show any kind of weakness, it's, it's like not good, you know? like. You have to represent something good for the family. So it's being an immigrant, we struggle a lot learning how to cope with our trauma or our feelings. So I knew that when I became a mom, I was like, I have to give them the American experience, you know, being there for them, asking them how they feel. How can Philadelphia treat immigrants better? Being from experience, being in Kensington, business owners are able to get some extra funding to help thrive, um, I think that would be something very helpful. Being connected with NKCDC to get the resources, I don't think I would be thriving like I would today if it wasn't for the resources. There's so much to see and so much to learn and it's mostly the food related, but also meeting people and learning about their culture. My mom's way of showing love is, are you hungry? Did you eat yet? I think that's what Philly has a lot to offer, is the food connection. That's why it's the best food city.